first came to Toronto to visit friends of mine that were at U of T, and we bought tickets for an Unsane show at Sneaky D's. So that was my introduction to the place. And then I moved here, and at that time, it was suddenly like hip-hop night. Somewhere in between, it became kind of popular with the students. So it just felt like it kept changing all the time. Throughout all of it, I guess it's still just that kind of divey, Mexican-themed burrito spot. The very first wavelengths that I attended were just around the corner at Ted's Wrecking Yard. I hadn't been living in Toronto for very long at all, but I saw a potential there, like, oh, this could be something I could get involved in. It was more about, let's see something a little different and or play something different, hopefully. I mean, that was what attracted me to a lot, is that I really wanted to play. Yeah, just do your own thing. Do something different, do something kind of unique, hopefully. Um, something hopefully a bit bold and weird. That's sort of what kind of helped it be this hub for things that were to come. I can just probably mention all the Toronto bands and, and chances are they would have played it. <laughs> room or a room before it that was called Wavelength. Holy Fuck didn't start as Holy Fuck necessarily. It was sort of playing around with some ideas. I wasn't one of those kids who got into computers right away. I found them frightening. I found something more tangible of working with my hands, tapes and effect pedals and stuff like that. Yeah, I finally had my big wavelength debut after all these years of going and participating and watching here at Sneaky D's. <laughs> I don't think it was very good, but that was kind of why I wanted to call it Holy Fuck. I thought it was funny. I thought it was funny in a way of being like super awesome mixtape 94 and it almost self-deprecating in a way where it's like, I'm obviously, I don't deserve the exclamation of Holy Fuck. It's just some dumbass playing on this like toy. I think Wavelength is really important for Toronto, or has been. It was certainly for myself and for so many of my friends' bands. We're not playing uh, Toronto much these days, you know? We're, we're playing elsewhere. We're in other cities, in other countries, and, and that's great. Like, that's so exciting. Yeah. 